All right, Eileen, thanks so much. Rivers across much of our viewing area back to normal levels after dealing with flooding yet again this year, but concerns still pour in. Now take a look at floodwaters this year, forcing some mandatory evacuations, but much less severe than the ones back in 2008. Tonight, Johnson County leaders are again urging that changes be made. KWWL's Justin Andrews joins us now live in Johnson County, and Justin, leaders there want an updated flooding plan. Yeah, man, they've actually been wanting to update this plan for several years, so this is really nothing new after this summer's mandatory flooding evacuations and hundreds of thousand dollars spent. The Johnson County Board of Supervisors are urging federal leaders yet again to update this plan. So the question is, should we look at updating that plan. Flooding year after year has prompted yet another yearly request from the Johnson County Board of Supervisors urging federal leaders to fund a new study of the Corvo Reservoir's outflow schedule. So if they can release the water sooner, that makes a whole lot of sense. And These are images that people living in Johnson County hope to wash away from their memory. Newsroom says they're starting to see more and more deviation from the current water release plan that's been in place since the 1990s. When deviations take place uh, too many times, it's probably time to change the plan. They're wanting to re-examine when and how much water the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers release, all in hopes of preventing another flood disaster of 2008 and avoiding even a less severe flooding we saw over the last two summers. Well, this community is uh, much better prepared than it was back in in the 1990s for flood events, or at least uh, the rising waters on the Iowa River. He says the Board of Supervisors' relationship with the Corps is strong. However, they're just looking for ways to reduce the miles of flood barriers, numbers of flooding evacuees, and the millions of dollars they spend in the wake of the Iowa River rising waters. Now, Amanda, tonight I've learned that assessing this plan is not cheap, and that's probably why it hasn't been added to the federal budget, because it will cost them more than $4 million. We've got you covered live outside of the I River Landing in Johnson County tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. It's a big price tag, Justin. Thanks so much. Now, the study would have to assess.